Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 Tech, and in today's video, let's take a look at the Samsung Deck Station, an optional accessory for the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus that lets you enjoy a PC-like desktop experience with the Samsung flagships. Inside the box, it's all quite minimal. We've got an adaptive fast charger, a USB Type-C cable, a quick start guide. It's in Korean, of course, since I imported my decks from South Korea. And then, yeah, we have the Deck Station itself. Peeling the protective plastic off, the bottom part has some plastic too. Peel it off and you get better grip so the Dex doesn't slip off your table. And there are some ports to the back, let's get them in a minute. Here you see a little arrow mark, apply some pressure there and the Dex pops open, it's easy. Inside we see the Type-C connector. To the back, we've got vents for cooling. Given the extra workload coming from handling multiple tasks on a monitor, the S8 might heat up and I'm glad Samsung's added them here. And now, for a close look at the I.O. We've got two USB 2.0 ports, a 100 Mbps Ethernet port, HDMI and Type-C for power. I went ahead and set things up, I'm using my 27 inch Full HD monitor, a full sized Logitech Wave keyboard and a G700S mouse. The respective receivers have been connected to the decks and it's kind of sad that an HDMI cable wasn't included here. Anyway, let me just pop my S8 Plus in, slides in nice and easy. Now we get a prompt on the S8 asking if we want to start decks or mirror the display. Let's start by hitting start decks. Now it takes a few moments to boot up. We are greeted by some messages. You get to see your notifications at a glance, multitasks easily, and here's something curious. The notice here says the DeX supports only Full HD, but the box shows 4K HDMI. A little confusing, isn't it? Anyway, I don't have any displays capable of 4K output, so it's not really my issue. Moving on, making sure the corners are correct, and here we are, desktop mode on the Galaxy S8. The first thing I liked here is the fact that window shortcuts are made usable. Like hitting the Windows key on the keyboard causes the app screen to open, and given the search bar up top, just like with Windows, you can hit the Windows key on the keyboard and begin typing the app you want. Chrome does however load the mobile version by default, I had to switch, scrolling works well, and the experience seems quite responsive. Right click also works, gives some options, kind of Windows-esque. We can adjust the sound output keyboard and all that here. Now of course, no serious gamer is gonna be looking at this setup. It's aimed more at people who wanna get casual work done and for that, typing is important. How responsive is typing? Like a friend of mine who's a doctor, he's interested in the decks just for browser access so that he can remotely access some records from time to time. M me personally, I'd probably use decks for scripting. And like I said, for all these, typing's extremely important. And most videos that I've seen have had people using the decks with Bluetooth keyboards. Latency is always an issue with Bluetooth keyboards, but with a regular RF wireless keyboard like the Logitech Wave that I'm using here, there was no latency. I could script on this happily and as you can see me typing, the regular shortcuts like Ctrl C, Ctrl V and all that work perfectly. The scroll wheel does too and this makes me happy. Next I decided to try out a few games, simple ones like Word Feud loaded up, but remember the window here cannot be resized, you can't go to full screen mode. Other games like Plants vs Zombies 2 just wouldn't load, you get a Message stating it's designed for touch screens, phone touch screens and won't work on decks. Makes sense. Now let's get to the next common reason people might be interested in this, Netflix. Now the Netflix app is not optimized for decks, so you can only switch to landscape but can't resize the window or go full screen. But you could always access Netflix from the browser or you remember the options we got when we plugged the phone into the decks? turn on decks or mirror screen. Here you could choose mirror screen and select the icon from the taskbar and select switch to mirror screen mirroring. Now here you go, we are mirroring the S8 Plus's display onto the monitor 
and can run something like Netflix full screen. Of course, it would be easier to run it from the browser on Dex, but I thought this would be a nice segue to screen mirroring. Anyway, let's jump back to the Dex environment and another app that's optimized for Dex, Google Play. By optimized, I mean resizable windows, a full screen option and so on. You can also access quick shortcuts from the taskbar and jump into settings. Some phone related settings are disabled when in Dex mode. You can tinker around with some Dex related settings like pointer speed and so on. And let me now show you the screenshot functionality and use that as an excuse to remind you to subscribe. So anyway, if you notice, all open apps can be found on the dock below. You can also access recent apps from the icon there, close individual apps or all apps. So overall guys, there seems to be a lot you can do with Dex and Dex kinda surprised me. Even with multiple windows open, it was quite smooth, much smoother than I expected it to be. There are some incompatibilities like say for example, the scroll wheel doesn't work when viewing PDFs via Adobe Reader, but these are early days. Samsung has never shied away from trying new things, but given the size, the vast size of the brand, they tend to write things off quickly too. The DeX is far from perfect. Samsung's track record on the $150 price tag does make it feel a bit gimmicky, but this is a product I hope Samsung doesn't write off. It seems to have a ton of potential and I really wish more people buy it and we get to see a lot more DeX apps. While not Samsung's most original of ideas, the DeX seems to be a solid step in the right direction. If you do want to pick one up, I leave direct links in the description below. Use them, it helps the channel out. And I guess that's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, vote it down if you didn't. And for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you have already subscribed, hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time a new video goes live here on C4 Retech. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this year is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.